Good afternoon, guys. Today we are on Embedded Event Manager, EEM, on Cisco Router, Cisco Systems. As you can see, our topology here. So EEM, Embedded Event Manager, is a software component of Cisco that allows network administrators to automate many tasks. EEM is a programming language with if condition then action statement. If your if your condition is met, then some actions will be performed automatically on the device. There are three steps to uh, to creating an EEM applet. Step one. We create the applet and give it a name with the command event manager applet name. And step two, which is optional, we tell the applet what, what to look out. Just optional, as some applets do not need to look out anything. Usually, with the command event CLI pattern. Step three, Define action to be taken when the event is triggered in step two. Usually with action or set commands. Uh, as you can see, our diagram here, uh, our task is to, to do an interface recovery in our, we, 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 we do a config, EEM config on our router one, as you can see here. Uh, the applet is called interface down and the event is a syslog pattern that matches the net the text with an interface goes down. When the interface goes when the interface goes down, when this occur, we run a number of commands that happens. What happens is that whenever someone shuts the interface, EEM will do a no shut on it. For example, let me show you, let me show you here. So we have interface here, G10. We want to, to configure an applet on this on this router. For, in, for instance, someone shut down this interface either intentionally or accidentally. Auto automatically, the interface will will, will 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 shut. But after that, after uh, like uh, some seconds, will be up. For example, now on Taiwan, this we have with the applet name interface down. The syslog pattern is now, for example, someone shut down. This is the message will come. Interface gigabyte one zero change state down. So when this action, when this action has been done, or when someone has shut down our interface, what the EM will do is action one or command one we enable config t we enable then action two is config config t configuration then action three we enter we interface g01 and then no shout so someone has shut down we do a no shout automatically the interface will be up we'll do the lab on this and we run the debug and see how it goes so let's go directly to our to our lab let, let's go to our lab So this is our lab, and uh, this is our command line. Okay, this is router one. I've just run, I've just uh, run the devices and 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 uh, open the command. Okay. 
just open, uh, run the device and open the console. Uh, let me check if there's any configuration. Exit. Show IP. Int brief. Yes. On G10, this one, I've already configured that. Address 182.168.10.1 and it's up, everything's up. So, what I have to do now is to configure the applet that like we have done it here. Configure the applet and see. So, to enter the config T, sorry. Conf config terminal so we are in a global configuration mode we add the config everything but i can copy this configuration sorry then i'll explain to you okay this is our configuration so event manager applet the name interface down and the syslog pattern interface gigabyte one zero change to down if this message appears then action one enable action two config t action three interface g one zero action four no shout so uh minutes. Let, let let's let's uh let's run a debug and see what happens debug event event manager action I okay the bug is on so what you can do now config t go to the interface interface g10 let's shut it and see what happens start enter let's wait for a minute as you can see now, when I shut this interface, this is what happens. Okay, we have now the message here, interface G10, state two, administrative down, it's down, but as, as, as we have already configured the EEM, what action should be done when the interface is down? We enable, then configure terminal, then interface one, interface G10. Then what do, what do we do? We, we, we configure no shout so that it can be up. As you can see here, automatically, that's changed to, to up. So let's, let's check, show IP int brief. As you can see here, it's up and we have shut it, but it's up. Why? Because we have configured uh, EEM. In case the interface shut, it automatically becomes up. Thank you guys for watching. Please share, sus subscribe. And if you have any question, please drop it on our comments below. Thank you guys.